Guatemala is a country that I just spent close to a month in that most people really don't have on their radar. But today I'm here to tell you that Guatemala has tons to offer, great cities, great food, very nice people, and tons of great activities that you need to put on your radar for 2019 if you're planning to travel anywhere in Latin America. Stay tuned as I walk through the top three places that you need to visit in Guatemala today. Number three on my list of places that you need to visit in Guatemala is Flores. Flores is a small little island that is located in the northern part of Guatemala. Now, most people use this as a hub and launching off point to get to the famous Mayan ruins of Tikal, which is why I was there. And when I wasn't exploring Tikal, I was able to fall in love with this small little island that has a very chill and relaxed demeanor. Now, a few things you can do. You can ride boats around this lake and go check out the various nature. Another positive of the area of Flores is that it is quite hot. So if you're into that kind of weather, Flores offers you the chance to get your sunbathing on while hanging out on this beautiful island next to the water. And last but not least, Tikal. It is by far, in my opinion, the most impressive Mayan ruin site that you can go and visit because all the ruins hang outside of the jungle top while you have monkeys jumping up and down all around town <laughs> while you're checking them out and they may try and throw poop at you like they did me. But if they do that, don't worry, it's a term of endearment. Number two on my list of places to go and check out in Guatemala is Antigua. Now, Antigua is probably the most popular destination for tourists to go to in Guatemala, and rightfully so. Out of all the places that I went to in, in Guatemala, about eight different cities, Antigua by far had the most tourist sites and restaurants. Now, the gastronomy scene is amazing. There's tons of bars and areas to check out. And while you're in Antigua, you get this kind of old feeling and vibe because it actually was the old capital of Guatemala until a couple earthquakes in the 17th century completely rocked the capital back to back in about 15 years span. So after that, they moved the capital to Guatemala City about an hour and a half away. But because it used to be the capital, you actually have tons of old buildings that are beautiful, that are actually somewhat restored, but still in ruin-like form. So it's almost like walking around the Rome of Guatemala. Mm, so romantic and beautiful. And of course, any conversation about Antigua would not be complete unless we talked about the Acatenango Volcano Hike. That's right, this is the infamous hike in Guatemala where you actually get to hike next to a live breathing, fire breathing volcano, which is called, of course, Volcán de Fuego. Volcán Fuego has been active for a few years and actually created some destruction in Guatemala a few years back. But today, it is very safe to hike on the Volcán Acatenango. The hike takes about two days and you elevate over 5,000 feet. That is super gnarly, and I must say it was tougher than I thought, as tough as people say. To go and hike this, it is breathtaking. The views that you see, and it's really a once in a lifetime experience to be able to hike right next to a volcano in front of you. Highly recommend it, and it is really one of the things that makes Antigua so special, being a launching off point to go hike Volcan Acatenango. So definitely check out Antigua, beautiful town. But my number one place that you need to go to if you have a chance and you're in Guatemala is Lake Atitlan. Now, people have heard about Lake Atitlan, especially the town of San Pedro. San Pedro is the most famous of all the towns that surround this huge lake. Now, the best part about Lake Atitlan is there are tons of little hikes that you can do around the area while sipping some fantastic coffee and also checking out incredible views. When you couple those things together with an amazing nightlife, there's really nothing that Lake Atilan doesn't give you. And one of the great things that I've thoroughly enjoyed was a great cuisine, a Guatemala cuisine, lots of great grilled meats in places around the area in San Pedro, and a huge Israeli population, 
which led to some incredible falafel and different kebabs and meats and mm, very tasty. But all in, the nature and surrounding beauty with six different active volcanoes around the lake make Lake Atitlan the place to visit in Guatemala, my number one. So that'll do it for Guatemala. Please, if you enjoy this video, or if you've been to any of these places and have your own opinion, please feel free to share right here in the comment section below. I will be sure to answer them uh, so we can get a dialogue going back and forth. And of course, as always, please subscribe to the channel if uh, you enjoyed this video and want to see some other awesome videos about traveling through Latin America while I go around and try to show you guys everything that um, Central and South has to offer over the next year. I'm Paul from Marco Polo Travel. Talawega.